NVIDIA is deploying $9 an hour AI nurses at hospital rooms near you. They'll be able to replace some human nurses as we currently know them. Now, do you want to find out what these AI nurses can actually do? And are you going to be required to undress into your birthday suit in front of them for your yearly physical? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. Plus, you'll find out if a $9 an hour AI worker will be coming for your job next. There's a huge nursing staffing crisis in the United States right now. It all started back in 2012. That's when the baby boomer generation's health started to break down due to their age. And that had a ripple effect throughout the healthcare industry. Boomers suddenly needed more healthcare providers to help them with cancer screenings, diabetes management, and joint replacement surgeries, just to name a few. Granny's and grandpa's health was declining with age and it was showing. Because of this, the demand for healthcare went up almost overnight, causing an instant shortage of healthcare workers throughout the industry. To compound the problem, the boomer nurses were retiring themselves. They finally reached the age where they could tell their bosses to take a hike. They could enjoy the good life now by hitting up the early bird special at the Golden Corral, followed by a wild night of bingo. The nursing shortage was real and getting worse. And then in 2020, COVID hit the United States and no one wanted to work. Those $2,000 stimulus checks were coming in the mail fast and furiously. Oh shit. Pandemic, more like pandem rich. The word work became taboo. People preferred sitting on their couches, scrolling social media all day, waiting for those checks to come in the mail. The problem was that once COVID ended, the nursing shortage continued. Nurses had to deal with exponentially more patients than they were used to. Some nurses were getting overwhelmed with this patient load. One nurse described working in an emergency department where the patient to nurse ratio was 15 to one, and there were consistently 75 people in the waiting room. She said she could see her coworkers' souls dying inside. Their souls were dying and so was their morale. At one point in 2022, a quarter of all nurses in the United States went on strike due to lousy pay and poor working conditions. They were fed up. And with the resulting shortage of qualified nurses, the hospitals and ultimately the patients were left reeling. There had to be a better way to deal with this staffing crisis. And that's where AI comes in. I mean, it can fix everything, right? That's what players like OpenAI and NVIDIA want you to believe. So to address this nursing crisis, the GPU giant NVIDIA partnered with Hippocratic AI, a generative AI agent healthcare provider that makes AI nurses, virtual nurses that can replace some human ones. Let's see how they work. Hi, Sarah. I'm Rachel, your AI care manager. How are you doing after your appendectomy? I noticed that Dr. Chang has prescribed you some antibiotics, specifically ciprofloxacin and metronidazole due to your ruptured appendix. And while these AI health agents can't diagnose your symptoms like a human doctor can, they can do repetitive patient facing tasks like chronic care, nutrition consultations, discharge, colonoscopy pre-op, and many more, eliminating the need for human nurses in those cases. The human version of that nurse in the demo you saw on average makes about $38 an hour or around $80,000 a year. But that's just on average. There's some high-end traveling nurses that make upwards of $250 per hour. You know, Saul Goodman lawyer type hourly rates. But Hippocratic AI nurses only cost $9 an hour. That's right, less than the minimum wage in most states. The bathroom janitor at Arby's makes way more than that. This cheap $9 an hour fee is a huge cost savings for a hospital's bottom line. So why wouldn't these hospitals be interested in hiring AI nurses? To make matters worse for the human nurses, the Hippocratic AI nurses perform better than humans when compared head to head in terms of overall satisfaction, bedside manner, education, 
and bias in most cases. These virtual nurses are possible due to a large language model called Polaris. It runs off of NVIDIA's $40,000 H1 GPU chips. The model was trained on a massive collection of proprietary data, including clinical care plans, healthcare regulatory documents, medical manuals, drug databases, and other high quality medical reasoning documents. So great, AI nurses are trained on vast amounts of data, are smarter than Einstein, have a high satisfaction rate, and can cut hospital costs down. But what about security? The last thing you want is an AI nurse to tell your 90 year old granny to take morphine instead of Motrin. Whoops. Well, these agent nurses are being tested for safety at 40 of the best hospitals in the United States right now, including Cincinnati Children's Hospital, Universal Health Services, and Ohio Health. Plus, the AI nurses are trained to call for human help if they run into any problems. Even with those stop gaps, there's still a lot of work to do with AI nurse safety. But one thing is for sure, safety will get better over time. So you might be wondering, if a $9 an hour AI bot can take a nurse's job, can it take your job too? To be honest, no one knows the answer to that question. But if I had to guess, lots of jobs that take brains and smarts alone might be at risk. Professions like computer programming, accounting, and business analysis could be replaced by AI in the not too distant future. But don't worry if you're in one of those professions, you'll likely be retrained to manage the AI bots that took your job in the first place. Think of it as a kind of promotion. And if you do a job that consists of using your hands, well, you're in better luck. Professions like drywalling or plumbing should be safe for now. That's of course until AI robots become a thing then you might want to think about your retirement plan altogether. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about AI, check out my other vid, free Harvard AI courses, no admission required. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.